Hey, something smells good. Well, welcome home, husband. Well, look at you. Mmm. Mmm. What's today? It's Monday. Uh-huh. Am I forgetting something? Y your manners. You're not gonna say anything about this new dress? I mean, <laughs> look, hey, whatever it costs is worth every penny. For you. This is roast on Monday. That's a treat. You got twice baked potato. With chives and real bacon. Well, you know, Mrs. Ryder, if I know any better, uh, I think he's trying to seduce me. Oh, yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> well, I had to do something to get your attention, Judd. I'm not going to meet you at the door dressed in cellophane. No, I'm just trying to picture that. Please don't. Hey. What? Why are you mad? I'm not mad. No, you're mad. No, I am frustrated, though. And I'm hurt. You're hurt. Well, what'd I do? It's not what you did, Judd. It's what you don't do. You don't look at me. You never touch me. Look, listen. No, let me finish. When we first got married, sweetheart, you couldn't keep your hands off of me. We couldn't keep our hands off of each other. Even after a 24-hour shift, especially after a 24-hour shift. Do you even know how long it's been since we've been intimate? Of course I know how long it's been. You want to throw it in my face? I'm not throwing anything in your face. You know everything that I'm going through. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm so just out of sorts with my own feelings. You know, it ain't about you. And that's the problem. It's never about me. And maybe it should be, Judd, at least some of the time. I have needs, too, even if you don't feel up to it. Great. Hang on. No, this dress is coming off. It's you.